Welcome to the episode today. Um, I'm feeling better, not 100% better, but definitely feeling better. Um, and in this episode today, I want to do like one more, just so I can like fully recover, um, type of episode. As you can see, I've done some, like, I've been up and around here today, so I've done some renovations here. See, I have no more, like, big door here. I'll show you before. Okay, um... Anyways, I want to talk about, in this episode, the documentary I've been working on about my grandmother. So this episode's actually more for, like, my family. Um, but I, I want to talk about it. Um, actually, today, while this episode is out, the trailer for the documentary is also out. Um, I'll put the trailer in this, this video as well so you guys can see it. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, and there's a few things, like three things, that I learned about making this project that I wanted to share with you guys if you're working on a documentary or, or a fun passion project of any kind. Um, this is my first, like, real, almost full-length film. It's, it's about 40 minutes long, so it's my first film of that length and me taking my time with this film. Um, I'm really excited, so let me just jump into the three things I learned. Okay, so I wrote them down on my phone so I wouldn't forget, so forgive me if I look down a lot. Okay, so the first thing I learned was it takes a lot longer to make the project than I, than I, than I, than I thought it would. Um, I think we started shooting in June of some, of late June, early July, um, and we just finished uh, Monday of this week, right as I got sick. Um, we just completely finished everything. Um, and I didn't think it was going to take that long. I thought it would have some time, like, I thought it would be done, like, September. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, but, uh, so it did take a lot longer, but that's good, because I wanted to, like, take my time with this project. I had one shot to do this, and I really wanted, not, like, literally filming shot, but, like, I had one chance to get this done, and I wanted to take my time and make sure it was really good. Um, so, so I did that, but it took a lot longer than I thought, so keep that in mind, it does take a lot longer. The second thing is editing can be easy and hard all at the same time. Um, uh, like, I, I, as I'm filming, I'm thinking about the edit, like, oh, this will look really cool here, and this is the emotion I want to bring into the first opening scene, and this is how the, and then, like, actually constructing that in your timeline can can be kind of like tedious and difficult I, I was coming down into like frames of things at least when I was editing like the uh, the rough edit um, Tristan did the main edit um, and he was like struck like because we had so much foot and putting stuff together and trying to make it all fit in the cohesive like it was really easy because it was just like it's basically an interview with a bunch of other stuff happening amongst that interview um, but to make that thing, that easy thing happen took a lot of work, which, um, which I think the end product looks amazing. Um, I don't know what the distribution is on this, so, but I'll, I'll keep you guys informed. But that's the second thing. Editing can be really easy, like you know what you want to do, but it's going to be really hard of actually doing the thing that you know what you want to do. Okay, off to the next thing. Having a team is great. I, like, I, I would run things by Tristan, I would run things by Parker. Um, my brother Andrew has kind of pro helped me produce this pro project, so running things by him, um, and just le having like a like a second set of eyes, a third set of eyes. Does this seem right? Does this feel right? Did, how does this look? Does this not look okay? Does this so like d like kind of having everyone on the same page of like what the project is. Um, and having a team to kind of like support you with that. Um, it's really, really helpful, really, really helpful. Um, Tristan really, like, I was talking to him about the edit and he was like, I get it, let me see if this, if this is like what you're talking about and he would do it and first shot, I'm like, that's it, yes, that looks awesome. And then some stuff I gave him the liberty of, which was also really fun for him to be a little more creative in the, in the project. Okay, um, that was three, but I want to give you guys a bonus thing, is this is the first project I worked in Premiere. I normally just use Final Cut, because I'm actually really too lazy and don't have the time to learn Premiere. But uh, Parker and Tristan both used Premiere, so they wanted to use Premiere, so I said, 
All right, I guess I'm using Premiere, which I barely ever used it on this project, but I like dabbled, not really dabbled, but I opened it up, um, which was a learning experience within itself. I still don't know how I feel about Premiere right now, but I, uh, it was definitely a learning experience. Um, so this whole project was a learning experience. This whole project was really, really fun to make, and um, I'm, I'm just so glad I got to make it. So. Um, as I said, the trailer's out, so I'm going to put the trailer in right now, and I'll see you right after the, the trailer. Roll the trailer. All right, do you want me to look at you or look oh, at no, me? Look, just look at me look the whole time. Look at you. Yeah. Okay, my name is Betsy. I was born Betsy Lee Bowen um, in, on August 18th, 1930 in St. Louis, Missouri. Anything you want to say to your future great-grandchildren? Are their children. Keep laughing. Um, and uh, keep, keep a positive outlook in the face of, uh, of great trauma and problems that the world will always have. And have, um, have faith in yourselves. Yeah, so we uh, call my grandmother Granby. That's like what we call her. And as I also said I was going to show you the closet, the new, like, here, look. Okay, so I just took off the two middle doors because I didn't like this look from this camera here of it being there. And I couldn't find a way to take off this door, but I just left it, and it looks kind of cool. Like, I kind of like, like, yes, you kind of have to do this to get to that, but that's okay. But, like... I think this, I came to get a good shot of it. I think that's really cool. It's kind of like an open invitation. I don't know. I, am I explaining that too much? Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for hopefully back to the regular old vlog. Coolest damn kids on the street. You would be we could kick it all weekend. Baby, no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you would fuck me on the beach on my back seat. Listening to rap, so fancy. And every time you'd leave.